is Jordan for Blogs DNA, and we're here today to give you our top five Mac App Store apps. So here we go. Uh, the first app we're starting with is Stuff and Expander. Uh, this app's been around for Macs for a long time, but it's definitely one of the best for its functionality. And basically, what it's going to let you do is uncompress zip archives, TARS, GZIP, BZIP archives, and also let you open files created with WinZip, uh, iShrink, Simply Rar, Rarify. Uh, and many many others so I want to give you a quick demo of how it works So basically once you open the app you can see this icon goes directly to your desktop um, and all you have to do is take the file that you want to uncompress or open and drag it on to the expander app and it automatically uncompresses it and puts it in the exact same location where the file was located and that's basically it. You can, of course, set all your preferences just like you would any other application. And uh, that's stuff at Expander. Okay, the next app that we're going to show you is Menu Pop, which is also another free utility. Uh, it says it's free for a limited time, $4.99 regular price. So it may or may not still be free by the time you uh, watch this video. But I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick demo of Menu Pop. So I'm going to launch the app from the icon here in my dock. And there, there's no actual UI for the app other than this menu bar icon up here that lets you know that it's running. So basically what menu pops going to allow you to do is access any applications, menu items that you can see here up the top, you know, file, edit, store, window, all the, the, the menu items. Um, through a hotkey which is I think default is option Z so as you can see here I have all my menu bar menus accessible from you know within any part of the app it just pops up wherever your cursor is located and that works for pretty much every app that you're gonna be running uh, and that's menu pop Okay, the next app we're going to show you is Alfred, which is another app that's uh, been around for Macs for quite a long time. It's pretty popular, but uh, a lot of you, I'm sure, are just finding these apps through the Mac App Store, and that's obviously the beauty of it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and launch Alfred from my dock here. I already have it installed. And again, no UI pops up right away. All it does is give you a menu item up here where you can you know access everything that you need to and to launch um, Alfred default is option spacebar which pops up this search bar here and basically what it allows you to do is search anything on your Mac or the web so if we wanted to go to a URL for instance we can easily just type that in click enter and it'll take us right to the URL in our whatever browser that we have currently open. Um, it also works for opening apps uh, on your Mac. So you know, let's say we wanted to open Safari, you just type Safari, and as you can see, it it uh, it predicts what you're going to type. So most of the time, you're only going to have to type a few letters um, before it predicts what you want to do. Um, and you can also mess around with some settings by clicking this little icon here. Um, basically, you can change the the default hotkey. Um, decide to launch Alfred at login, and a few other basic options there. And it, it, anyone that's familiar with Quicksilver, um, which is a similar utility, it, it's kind of a dumbed down version of Quicksilver, but it's definitely you know uh, full featured enough for the average user. Um, and that's Alfred. Okay, the next app that we're going to be showing you is Sync Server. Um, we actually did a full review and tutorial that you can check out. We'll put the link below the video um, to show you exactly how to use this. But I'm going to give you a quick demo here, anyways. And basically, what this does is allows you to send photos over Wi Fi or 3G um, from your iPhone to your Mac. Um, and of course, to do that, you're also going to need to download the Sync app for your iPhone. Uh, and basically, once you've done that, all you have to do is 
take a picture or select a picture from you on your iPhone and it'll automatically sync that to the sync server app um, on your Mac uh, and again you can check out the full tutorial and uh, review of the sync server and sync iPhone app in action from the link below the video and that's sync server the fifth and final free Mac app that we're going to be showing you today is caffeine and this is also another really simple app. Uh, I'm going to launch Caffeine here from my dock. And basically you can see I get this message that says Caffeine is now running. You can find its icon in the top right side of your menu bar. Um, and basically what this is, is it disables automatic sleep um, and also disables your screen savers and the, um, your, your screen dim. Um, anything that you know you might get frustrating while you're trying to work or anything like that and that completely disables it and if you want to you know turn it on and off all you gotta do is click the little icon that pops up in the menu bar and you can easily right click it to access preferences and to quit it completely um, and that's caffeine so thanks for watching guys um, you can check out more video reviews at blogs dna and don't forget to follow us at blogs dna on twitter uh, become a fan at our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.